Welcome to Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the ECU in your Saab 9.5. Maybe you purchased an ECU from a tuner and want to put in some more horsepower in your car. Or you're like me and, are, and want to install a spare ECU for your own flashing and tuning. For this job you only need basic tools. I'm using a quarter inch socket wrench with a 10 millimeter deep socket. It has to be a deep socket because we're gonna have to get it way down there. Also you need a bit of cloth or cardboard or something. I'm using just this old cloth since we will bend up this plastic cowling over the hood and we don't want to damage the hood. Also do not follow the instructions in the workshop manual because they tell you stupid enough to remove the wiper arms and that is a horribly horribly difficult job. Start by removing this rubber weather seal. You will not remove it completely, just get it out of the way. Next we want to remove this side of the plastic here, so start by removing this Phillips head screw. Seems like I needed a, a wrench with a bit, Phillips bit on the, on the end, so I couldn't fit a normal screwdriver because of the hood. And then put the screw in a dry and safe location so you don't lose it. The next step is to break the plastic cowl free. You need to be careful because this is plastic and old plastic can be very brittle and break on you. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, you saw that plastic clip flying before. I was really not prepared for this. It's never happened before when I replaced an ECU. So apparently what happened was that the plastic clip here uh, got a little flight tour and landed somewhere in the engine. Uh, I can't see it on the ground and uh, well it's gone. So I went to the sub dealer and got myself a new one. Uh, this was very cheap, just a new little clip and a screw. Part number 4063897 and I'm gonna put it back in at the end of the video. So I can recommend you to remove all the plastic clips and rings here before proceeding with removing the plastic cowl. So you'll want to work around the windshield. Here you can see the windshield edge. You put the cowl slightly forward and down and carefully bend it so it snaps loose. There's a few plastic clips that holds to the windscreen so you just wiggle it loose carefully. Here we are. The cowl is completely free. I've been able to move it and now I can put my hand inside. And inside here, it's hard to see because because of the darkness, is the boot covering the ECU. Now we need to remove this even further. So, put the cloth around the hood, on the edge, and then we'll bend it upwards and hook it onto the hood. Here you see the cowl, protected by the cloth hanging onto the hood. From the other side, it now looks like this. Be sure to have the upper part free from the windshield so you don't put too much stress on the plastic. And down here we will be able to see the ECU. This is what you find under, under the cowl. Here's a, a rubber boot protecting the ECU connector. And there's four 10 millimeter bolts and those we'll remove now. The bolts can be a little tricky to get to because it's quite cramped. And watch the windshield here. Don't break it and don't cut yourself on the glass. Now with the, with the nuts gone, you can remove this boot and underneath is the ECU and its harness. It's quite difficult to get this out on video because it's so cramped. But you see the connector here? Uh, you have a little thing here. You pull this upwards and you bend it forward and then it snaps loose from the ECU. Let me just take a little side note. If you want to jury rig an ECU like this, not removing the old one, but just connecting the new one, just pull the connector a little bit outwards and connect the ECU. Be sure to protect the paint of all painted surfaces. To get the ECU out, we will do something even more cramped. There's two nuts, one here and one on the other side. You can feel them with your fingers, but I don't think they'll show up on video. Use a 10 mm deep socket and get them out. Don't drop the nuts, they will be hard to find again. So be sure to get a hold of them, pull them up, and then we can pull out the ECU. Phew! That wasn't very easy. Very cramped and stuff, so... 
stock ECU is out, let's put it somewhere safe. Now I've put the new ECU back in. Remember, watch the windscreen, don't crack it with the ECU. Next step, put the nuts back on. Don't drop them. The hard part is done. I've put the connector back on. Now let's bring the boot back and put the four bolts back in. When this is done, connect everything back together. Put back the plastic cowl. Put back the weather stripping. Put back the screw. As I said before, I purchased a new screw and washer and put it back. Then start up the engine and take a test drive to make sure everything works fine. And now your new ECU is installed. And that's the end of this video on how to replace the ECU in a Saab 95. If you have any questions regarding this procedure, leave a comment below or talk to us via social media, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Reddit and Instagram. This has been yet another video from Tramic7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.